the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 7. Verse 11, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3, verse 14, I know that whatsoever Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh doeth it, that men should fear before him. Verse 15, that which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh requireth that which is past. Verse 16, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. And we start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all gl glory to Koholoyim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Racha, Kadash Brakafam, that will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim, across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as wishing their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akum out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edified video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land that other nations appear like the other nations that subscribe to the, the whom subscribe to this truth. To you I say Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh up out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shimia And um I came across an article on my news read um so like it, news break app. And um you know, it just made me think about um, judgment. You know, the Most High is cold. You know, uh, it's an article where a woman was killed by her own baby. <laughs> you, you know, not laughing at the situation, although, you know, when we tend to do that, you know, because, you know, I'm laughing at, you know, th that's why the Most High is the king of tears. You know what I mean? Um, you know, cause that's the last thing that woman was expecting. And that's why I came out with judgment, because, you know, this is the place where it said, um, I saw up under the sun. The place of judgment and the place of, uh, he said, in the place of righteousness was Salaki. He said, the place of righteousness and iniquity was there, and place of judgment was up under the sun, roughly paraphrased. And this, you know, when you look out and you see the sun, we're up under the sun. This is the place of judgment because judgment, you know, in the heavens, you know, Esau turned things upside down. And it's so deep when you get to understand of it. You know, Esau, you know, uh, makes it seem like. In the spiritual realm, you're going to suffer forever. You get your judgment on this planet. You know, that's why people come out, um, you know, paralyzed, and, you know, with deformities. You know, that's why the Most High is called the King of Terrors in Job 18 and 14, I believe. You know, I was watching that video that the elder apostle um, Gabar did. And, he, you know, um, he brought out the scripture of Matthew about uh, fear not the one that the, can destroy the body, but fear the one that can destroy the both the body and soul in hell. You know, and he showed that baby, that, you know, and he was talking about how the baby just cried, you know, constantly. You know, like, that was torturous to the parent. But the mother, you know, showing you how women are emotional, is the father saying that he said, I don't give birth to, to monsters. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, that's deep. <laughs> you know, like, at the end of the day, for whatever reason, that child had to suffer with well, that spirit. We ain't going to say child. But, um. So it made me think about, uh, you know, a few different scriptures. And I, I got one more before I read the, uh, start the uh, article. This, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse uh, 19. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, who daily, if, Salakia, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the power of our salvation, Salah. Verse 20, he that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, I'm going to bring it back. He that is our power is the power of salvation and unto Yahweh, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, shall belong the issues from death. So, you know, it's the most high that tells you, tells you in scripture, the most high God uh, can deliver you onto death or he can save you from it. You know what I mean? Um, that's why the scripture is telling you um, literally um, he's, he's, our power is the salvation and 
belongs to the issue of death because he can get, you know, it tells you that in the book of First Samuel chapter 2, it talks about he wounds and he heals, he kills and he makes alive. So, you know, I think roughly paraphrased, but, but uh, I know that was a song from um, Hannah uh, when the Most High uh, allowed her to basically become pregnant with Samuel. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, let me jump into the article because, you know, I got to go on the, into the plantation in the next, you know, shortly. It says, uh, police say a woman killed by Tyler while on Zoom was preventable tragedy. Tragedy, And that's a, you know, a slap to our people because that's a, a Jake or she appears to look like a Jake, you know. Uh, but, you know, the Lord been judging, you know, tells you in scripture, uh, you know, uh, judgment will begin at the house of uh, Israel. He started his sanctuary first, roughly paraphrased. So, you know, um, yeah. So it says authorities are continuing their investigation to a young mother killed while on a Zoom call. Police say Shamaya Lynn, 21, was shot and killed by her toddler after he got hold of a loaded gun. Authorities are continuing their investigation. I read that part. going on. Bear with me for a second. Tonight, a father could now face serious charges after his toddler picks up a gun and accidentally shot the mother, killing her during a Zoom call. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live tonight with the details on this story. Dave. Luann, it was a scary incident, but... Unfortunately, it was one that could have been avoided. Now, police are trying to get out the message in order to prevent another tragedy like this from ever happening. I was really shocked because it happened, like, right here in uh, Orlando, and I'm, like, right around the corner. A young mother killed on a Zoom call after her child got a hold of a loaded handgun and shot her. It's what brought Romaine Gale out to Altamont Springs PD to get a gun lock for himself. Just in case my two-year-old will try to pick my weapon up when at home by the bed or anything. Police say the gun that was used to shoot and kill 21-year-old Shamaya Lynn was owned by her boyfriend. The gun wasn't properly secured, which helped it fall into the hands of a toddler. So it really doesn't take that much to actually pull a trigger on a handgun. Officer Rob Ruiz says it could take as little as five pounds of force to fire a handgun. He says to have your guns locked in a safe and make sure the keys or codes are hidden. If you don't have a safe, use a gun lock. Most importantly, police say to talk with your kids. You know, these are not... So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't you know, because the point of the matter is, I, like, I thought it was an article and it actually was a video, but, you know, the thing is, at the end of the day, that probably happened multiple times, you know, that gun was around that child or, you know what I mean, like, Who's to say who his boyfriend is or whatever. That was ultimately the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh And those that have a spiritual eye can would be able to recognize and see that, you know. Um, again, like I said, it tells you in the second sentence. Matter of fact, let me get it. Okay, here speaking of it. It's like you. It's the book of um Second Samuel. I mean, yeah, no, it's first Samuel. Two, I believe uh, this is First Samuel chapter two, verse six. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall kill up and make up alive. He bring up down to the grave and bring up up. Verse seven. The Lord make up poor and make up rich. He bring up low and lift up up. He raise up up the poor out of the dust and he lift up up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes. And to make them inherit the throne of glory, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, and he hath set the world upon them. So the point being, it's the Lord that either gives you, you, you know, you know, the power of life is in the power of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah's hands. He either give life or take it away. You know, a, a, a medicine can save. That's for instance, okay, like, for, who was that? David Rockefeller. He had the money to get seven 
heart plants. Or I think six. Six of them previously worked, but the seventh one he died on. Showing you that it don't matter the, I mean, the technology or whatnot is the most high. You know, we believe in the herbs, but we believe without prayer, you know, it tells you in the scriptures without prayer, you know, the herb might not work because no matter, you know, at the end of the day, you could be taking all the herbs if the most high required because, you know, the most high gave everything bounds. A time frame, you know what I mean? You know, everything is allotted a lot of the time to live and die, you know what I mean? Um, or to pass from this world. It's crazy too, cause my my daughter was just uh, asking about my my um, worldly earthly father, uh, you know, out the blue, and they normally don't. And my my father been passed, you know. My father has a lot to do with my testimony. I'm not gonna go into detail, but put it like this: If you ever seen this movie Carnival, I mean, it's not a movie; it's a show that used to come on HBO called Carnival. And for any brother that's in the truth, like I noticed something about brothers in the truth, we tend to watch a lot of the same stuff that each other watch, you know. Uh, you know, if some kind of fantasy or super movies with superpowers or whatnot. Carnival is something that came on HBO. Now, that's a lot of left hand energy on it, but nowadays everything got left hand, you know, symbols, symbology, you know. But, you know, it's a deep um, show. And if you into it or you choose to, you go, um, you know, go check it out. But his father was wicked. You know what I mean? I'm going to just put it like that. But he was righteous, you know. And that's the balance, you know what I mean? But um, anyhow. Showing you the Lord deals with that balance as well. You know, he makes something. Uh, it tells you that in the book of uh, uh, Sirach about how he made um, things in two and um, two, one by one. You know, if it's a male, it's a female. You know what I mean? For the most part, you know, you got certain things that, you know, are, um, I, I, I forgot the term when, it, when, when it, it doesn't have a gender, you know what I mean? That could just pr reproduce on its own. But for the most part, if it, it it, things are made two, um, one by one, you know. If it's something righteous, it's something wicked. If it's something good, it's something evil, you know what I mean? Because the, the most high is balanced. Uh, but not to keep on running along, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, it was sad and tragic, but it was judgment as well, you know what I mean? Now, w whatever's going to happen to that guy, that's the will of Yahweh Shemi al If he goes down, it, it actually uh, has to go do time for this. Or, you know what I mean, if he is exonerated or whatever the case may be. Because, you know, that's going to come back to bite him. You know, and I guarantee you, he had that weapon around that child before. It's just the Lord put a spirit on that child to, you know, to do that. You know what I mean? Like, like yesterday, we, we had such a spiritual cap. And I knew it was going to be spiritual. But, you know what I mean, just because of the date and, you know, the energy behind it. But... I'm to my Eve was showing her ass, you know what I mean? Like to a boy, I'm like, damn, you know, he like. But you know, also that just showing you how this place is ripe and, and Eve gonna get judged too, you know. And for the most part, a lot of brothers are already saying that they're gonna be in that mindset of Book of Eli. You know what I mean? Can I come with you? And he like, no. Nah. You no. Know? <laughs> right. This is uh, I'm gonna end it with this scripture. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. Verse 39, you know, and that's just showing you, like, making it um, even more justification for what the most high judge these women. Like I so said, we were just bringing out, you you know, you got seven women to one man. So if it's that many women and, you know, uh, there's going to be death, you know, innumerable, you know, if two-thirds of our people are going to be de destroyed and, and die horrific deaths on this side, if it's majority of the population is women, how are they the prize? Again, I mean, and I and I don't. I love women. I, you know, what I mean, I don't have to justify anything to anybody. You know, I mean, you can assume anything. I could be saying one thing. A person could sound sexist and, and then be the perfect like like child to their mother and all that. You know, what I mean, like you know, you know, like you would never know. You know, what I mean, like at the end of the day, people, you know, are so emotional. One statement. That you make and, and they could be going through something and they take it and transform it and it's all about them. That's some vain ass shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, these women are out of order and that's why the Lord gonna judge them. That's why you, come on, me and the brother keep constantly bringing up this uh, statistic. I was bringing it out. This, this, this proud ass woman being proud, but right now rape is up. You know, right now, the, the elder Yashawamba did a video about how the whole police force in Missouri just resigned for goofy reasons. So what you think they about to do? <laughs>
These men have a specific skill set. A lot of death coming to this place. You know, it tells you that in the book of Second Ezra, chapter eight, of the, about how many great miseries shall come upon the earth because they walked in their pride. Uh, but like I said, not to digress or make this, you know, bounce around all the way around. At the end of the day, that was judgment. If you have a spiritual eye to see it, you know, and then the Lord is going to orchestrate certain things in those people's lives. That's how the Lord works. So uh, I'm going to bring this scripture. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32. Point is 39. See now that I, this is Yahweh, uh, Shem Yahweh Shah speaking. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So at the end of the day, if that was meant for her to literally get killed. You know, that's the one thing I like about uh, the the show uh, or that movie Final Destination, the series. Because although certain sh movies, certain uh, parts of the series, I forget which ones, they escaped. You know, certain people escaped, you know. Like the first one, the one guy escaped, and then you know, a few people escaped, and then at the very last one, it was literally all of them that thought they escaped did the escape. He's the, you know, because Yahweh Shah is death, you know, what I'm saying a death angel. So you know, at the end, they he set it up where nobody escapes that, you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, uh, like in the book of Luke, where Yahweh Shah, uh, Yahweh told the uh, foolish. Uh, Man that was uh, called himself um, tearing down his barn and building up bigger. And he said, oh, you know, you foolish man. He said, today is the day I require thyself. We all have that in common. Rich man, poor man. We all are going to appear in front of the judgment seat of the Most High. Y'all about shot. So, um, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, and similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, commandments of Y'all about shot. Because, you know, Lord is judging. That's proof of that you know what I mean? if you got a spiritual eye to see it and with that i want to give all praises all honor and all glory to call allah yim la yahweh ba shim yahweh shai ba shim rachak with us with the double honors to the apostles and elders of great male still who do well peace and salutations to the occupant across the four corners of the earth pushing his truth with faith and sincerity as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so shalom to the aqua thing the occupant to listen and learning lord willingly this was edifying Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of other nations appearing like the other nations but subscribing to the truth. To you all say Shalom. Till next time, Lord willingly, Shalom, Shalom. Mawath Lababoa, Shalom.